First, remember, Nitro is not your friend. Adam Layton recently found this out in Australia. Scary moment there. Thankfully, he was okay. It reminded us of what happened to Bob Malloy in Gainesville, Florida not long ago. Another reminder that Nitro is certainly not your friend. When everything is right, Nitro can produce world records. When it's not, things like this can happen. And that applies to even 40-year experienced veterans like Team Larry Spider-Man McBride. You never know when Nitro can bite. It's a reminder of why you have to be so careful with this volatile fuel. It's the reason you see teams blowing the nitro out of the cylinders before startup multiple times. By the way, that bike was blown out four times. A problem with the barrel valve caused that. Remind us of what happened to Rich Breland in South Georgia. One mistake, one malfunction can be so costly when you race with nitromethane. And how about when the motorcycle doesn't want to shut off? One of the craziest things we've ever seen. Tracy Cowell and Jimmy McMillan here at North Florida Motorplex. The bikes disappear when they hit the finish line and we cross our fingers. Making sure they stop safely. Making sure they stop safely. Josh is gonna go down and check it out. Josh is gonna make sure they stop safely. They're rolling. That was a race, guys. We gotta. Well, guys, we weren't expecting this. Thank goodness we're hearing Jimmy is okay. Oh my gosh. You wanna talk about going off the track? Look at this. Sand trap really didn't slow him down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe my eyes. Here's a sight I thought I would never see. I've seen plenty of dirt bikes in the creek when out trail riding with my friends. That's the norm, but not a high performance, 1,000 pound top fuel Harley. These things are not easy to move. And I'll tell you, it's a blessing he ended up in the creek and not in the catch fence. Thank God he's okay. Is he all right? Heard his back. He heard his back. When did he get off the bike, do you know? When he knocked that tree over. What? He knocked that tree over? Oh my God. He bailed, but the bike went that way. He went that way. Wow, he stayed on it till then, guys. I don't know when he bailed, but he rolled into this. So how did this all happen? Let's break it down. First, let's take a look at the pass. Side by side, these two were flying on this eighth mile strip. Jimmy Mack nearly goes 180 miles an hour. He disappears out of view. His crew looks on. You can tell they're very concerned, hoping this talented rider is able to get stopped. Guys, that's absolutely devastating, but there was a blessing here. Take a look. This is what we're looking at right here, the tires and the fence. If he would have ran into the tires and the fence, he could have been seriously injured, was able to escape through here. It's a real tragedy what happened to the bike, but the big news is Jimmy is okay. We can rebuild the bike. We'll try to talk to him here in a second. Normally we see very, very deep sand like you would see at a runaway truck ramp, but thank God. I've been covering motorcycle drag racing for more than 20 years. That is one of the wildest things I've ever seen. Thank God Jimmy Mack is okay. What happened? Let's hear in his words, Jimmy Mack. Uh, shut the throttle, got on the brakes, threw the chute, killed the engine. Uh, none of that seemed like it wanted to work. So uh, shot it into the woods. We missed the tires, thank God. Missed the fence, thank God. And uh, just went into the trees and, uh, and a stream, some mud back there, whatever. And a great medical team was right on top of it. We're gonna get him checked out. We're gonna make sure he gets the care that he needs. Uh, well, guys, I can't tell you how fulfilling it is to hear from Jimmy Mack, to hear the laughter. Been through a lot of serious situations in motorsports, and this one couldn't have gone any better. It is a shame that we've probably totaled his bike, but like I said, we'll rebuild his bike. That's rubber, that's aluminum, it's high performance parts that we can replace. We can't replace that great man in that ambulance. And by the grace of God, he's still here with us. And even for a seasoned veteran like Larry Spiderman McBride, the ride can get a little wild.
Stevie, your brother's one bad dude out there, huh? Whoa! This is 40 years of riding experience to control this 1,200 pound, 1,500 horsepower beast. Larry Spider Man McBride able to save a run. That was a little hairy, but he didn't he didn't back out too much. He did feather it. He was at, he was on like four inches of tire. Yeah. Look at the mark. Yeah, he was you can see the mark all the way to the right. Yeah. Issues here. Some have said that your bike is easier to ride than a top fuel Harley. Would you would you agree with that? Do you think it's I mean not at your speeds, not at your ET, but I mean detuned. If, if Jesse was going to go top fuel racing, do you think he'd have a better time with four cylinders than two? Well, maybe I'd just make it look easier. Um, you know, I think Jesse would be capable. He'd be, he's smart enough to put his feet on the pegs. You know, the, that's the whole key to this deal. You got to, to ride these things and make them smooth. And you got to you got to build them where you can ride them. And that's what we were just over here talking about. You know, some of the guys are, are great guys, and but they build them like you're sitting on a 55 gallon drum. And it's hard to, uh, your feet just don't bow back in that way so you see a lot of guys riding without their feet on the pegs and that has a lot to do with it that's racing jack thank god he's okay mitch and reggie side by side such an important race top in the race like oh big big explosion mitch Take another look at the detonation the explosion this thing is basically a bomb with two wheels welcome to nitro methane racing Oh, another big boomer, John Zara over in Australia. Let's take another look. And sometimes knowing when to quickly shut it down can be a lifesaver. Fuel pump came, came off the motor. Fuel pump came off, okay, that's an easy fix, right? Easy fix. Smart, you shut her right down too. Good job. Tough break here, Team Finland. Who will, what do you think happened? Oh, uh, that dropped the hole in the rear cylinder. Ah, Too much fuel in. And everything's okay. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah, next time. Josh got that's drag racing for you, huh? Yeah, I know. Tough break. These guys yeah. will be back though, that is for sure. Tough team out of Finland. Belts can be hard to keep on these powerful bikes. Sam, what, what, describe what that is to our viewers at home, please. It, it drives the fuel pump and the oil pump. So why do racers play with this very dangerous and volatile fuel? Well, the answer is simple, to make more horsepower and chase world records. But the negative results can be very costly. As the late, great Brian Johnson of England once told me, nitro's a funny fuel. Throw a match on it and nothing will happen. Hit it with a hammer, and you better run. And oftentimes it is the engine that is the hammer. And oftentimes one ends up scattered like this as we try to repair it from the damage that nitro caused. But when everything goes well, it produces poetry in motion and an epic run that will live on for the ages. So beautiful when everything goes according to plan. That, my friends, is why you play with Nitro. And that was exciting enough to get the attention of even Jesse James. If you're following along, you got to see Larry go that 550 at 264. What do you think about that on two wheels? It was crazy. I had to like, I saw when you posted it on Facebook, like an hour after he did it. And then to see the starting line video compared to the mid-track video, it's like the bike didn't even, it just, 
it's almost like wasn't real on a motorcycle like just not a bobble not a flaw just that's it <laughs> Of impressive crazy things on a motorcycle could you imagine 264 in 1320 feet it's got to be pretty awesome it's got to be the best oh, motorcycle yeah. ride oh, ever <laughs> Clearly, it's the most thrilling fuel out there. Nobody knows this better than arguably the greatest nitro racer ever. NHRA legend, John Force. Uh, top fuel bikes here, nitro Harleys. What do you think about those guys? I was out there watching them. I even went up in the stands to watch that one guy. Oh, thanks so much, guys. He's the legend, John Force. More craziness coming. Hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing.